right. There we go. We are still setting a couple things up. Um, let me see here. All right. Almost ready, everybody. Almost ready. I don't know. Can you see me? You need to turn up. How's everybody doing this morning? Todd's gonna miss the show? What? Um, can everybody hear me okay? Look at these. Nice, juicy shrimp. Today is National Shrimp Scampi Day, everybody. So we are gonna do grilled shrimp scampi. I need to do something real quick on the computer. I gotta set something up. Look, I just set it up so I could um, hook people up with the, uh, the uh, ingredients and everything. I know last week I had it almost perfect and um, I noticed eight people did not get the ingredients. And I figured out why. And uh, can you see the top of my head? I can't even see you at all. Beast with the Beast will begin shortly and take off. Hey, where do I go? I need to know where I'm at the screen. All right. All right. Thank you, Tom. Um, Just okay. bring all the other weapons out, too. All right, now you're good. Can you still see this stuff down here? Yep. I might have to go wire. You're good. All right, so. All right, what do y'all girls want? Uh, I'm going to the shed. No, no, right not right now. Not right now. Um, all right. We also have uh, Instagram um, a little further back. So they kind of see the whole camera and all that kind of stuff too. They've been live for a little bit longer than everybody else. All right, everything's still working good. Cool. Look guys, you wanna take that off of there? All right, so let's get this party started. So right now, now you go like this. Let me use this again. All right, all 
Alright, Wendy's got the camera. Alright, look, come and see my new my new toy. I don't I don't even want I don't even like calling it a toy. But I got a uh, Rectech bullseye. I've been using the shit out of it the last couple of days too. So we're gonna do everything on the Rectech today. Um, still love my barrel houses always. Uh, but this thing, man, when you want something really quick. Like you want to throw in a burger or a dog, you're in the, you're in the middle of watching a movie or something, or you're, I'm working at lunchtime, and I want to throw something on real quick, I can come out here, fire this bad boy up, and get me something on the grill. I almost bought a, a gas grill just for times like that, and then I, I saw this, and I was talking to the rec tech people, and they hooked me up. So, um, um, I tell you what, and it's honest to God, I, I freaking love this thing. It is freaking awesome. So, come here, look. We're not live on YouTube, right? No. No, not on YouTube. No, we're gonna up, we upload them to YouTube. So look. Oh, and the grill beast is uh, 22 inch great, fits perfectly in here. So. So this is what we got going on today. We have um, some freaking awesome. Look at this. Get it close up. Awesome shrimp scampi. Right, we already got this marinating, and um, we also have some big old tree like uh, asparagus. <laughs> You're like, look at that! Holy crap! Um, we have some pancetta. So really, you know, this is all nice and easy, right? Um, we're gonna cut the ends off of these. Cut this pancetta uh, in half and uh, wrap like probably two stalks at a time. What? No, it was nothing. Prosciutto. Prosciutto, whatever. <laughs> Just helping you out. No, that's Helping not. a brother out. All right, so look. Uh, and then we got a nice, uh, a cool okay. little dipping sauce. So the dipping sauce is really easy. Um, another thing that I got is I got me a, a little stove over here because I hate Inside, all I have is an electric stove, and I cannot freaking stand an electric stove. So, um, so I have this, and I'm going to do the sauce on that. All right. So I think um, this is still marinating. Let me get uh, a few pairs of gloves here. So you know what's kind of cool, right? Is uh, we're usually always using my phone to uh, do everything, um, and now we're not. So um, now, okay, what I notice is, because I'm always telling people to like and share the feed, I never get to share it because I never have my phone. So um, um, if everybody could just use this time right now to share this feed, it's National Shrimp Scampi Day. Share it with everybody, share it in other groups um, so we can get some more people on this feed, all right? Take and let me see here. I'm going to do it too. So if you take, where is Real Beast? Real Beast. So there you go. I got the live feed. Good morning, everybody. share to a group. Alright, there you go. Take and uh, share it, like it, and uh, let's get this show on the road. Thank you, Russell. What's that? Also not shared. Alright, cool. And then also, if you want the ingredients, if you want us to get them to you through messenger and, uh, and email, take and type send in the comments. And now to get that whole process going, I'll send you a message on Messenger, and then I'll follow up through an email with the uh, with the whole recipe. Okay, but that lets me know that you want that you want the recipe. All right. So while this is still marinating, I'm going to take and get the uh, asparagus underway because there's some trees. They're going to take they're going to take a little while to cook. 
You know what I mean? Do we have anybody else uh, growing anything today? Somebody was smoking a rabbit, I believe, but it's gone through. Good morning. A rabbit? So, like, here's the thing, and I know I've said it before, but technically, the way to do asparagus is you find out where the weak spot is, or like right there. So all this is going to be really stringy, and then this is going to be tender. Um, I used to do all of them like this, but now what I do is I do that, and I say, okay, that's how much I need to cut off all these, because they were probably all cut about the same time, right? So we can, we'll just use that as a guide. Mark said he likes asparagus pencils, not trees. We do too, generally, but for this recipe today, we thought maybe going a little bit bigger. So here's the thing. So um, the, the big trees can still be good. You just have to cook them a little bit different, like um, not quite, not quite um, such real high heat, intense. You want them to, um, to you know, um, you want them to marinate in some oil first. Gary Dickerson, beef and pork ribs today. Gary Golden, briskets. Brisket? Brisket's always good. You know what I'm about to do? Because of all the uh, fat cap up and fat cap down, all that kind of stuff, is I'm gonna do um, two butts side by side, one fat cap up, one fat cap down, I'm going to do brisket the same way. Just so we can see, once and for all, what is correct. Because I don't care who's right, I just want to do it the best way possible. We didn't bring the, um, the, uh, the skewers, and that's Tyler. No, I got the skewers. That's Tyler, come here. Tyler! Right, it's just how you cook those big asparagus. Because sometimes if you don't cook them right, they're a little bit tough. Ribeye roast. Ribeye roast, what? won't be too salty. So what I was just saying is the bruschetta um, is already salty. So um, actually I didn't mean to even put salt on here, but I'm just so used to doing it that way. Um, that's just the way it happened, right? All right. Tyler's holding the camera right now. You doing all right, honey? All right. All right, let's get this bad boy open. See that? I'm glad they put these plastic pieces in there. Huh? So we're going to do two at a time. Uh, do, do three at a time. So, when I do these, I take and I cut them in half, right? Because um, if not, it's going to overlap and you're not going to get, because you want it to wrap like bacon wood, right? This is a really sloppy one. Hopefully I'll get better. There we go.
All right, that one's not real pretty, but it's get, it's not bad. Ooh, it's here for Tyler. Woohoo! Tyler, the camera person. Okay. So I kept it on the plastic this time because the meat wanted to stick to the uh, to the cutting board. So try a little bit different this time. What is this? Well, I say prosciutto. 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 She says prosciutto. <laughs> um, Vicky Brown says if you turn half of the asparagus the opposite way, they'll cook more evenly. Well, I'm going to put them on. Uh, I know how the hot spots are working on that grill. And so I'm going to um, face everything to where it. <coughs> so, so it cooks pretty evenly, but the center is not quite as hot as the outsides. Right? So, so when I put this on, I wonder if this is going to stay. Can show you my big three at a time? Yes. <laughs> three trees at a time. Three trees. Three trees. Ah, uh, Tyler, Phil said, what's up? What's Tyler. up? <laughs> what's up, bro? Doing good. Tyler's in um, her. Tyler went her to a crawfish bowl. Yesterday. Yeah. It's pretty nice. <laughs> with a little boy. Bless you, Tyler. Oh yeah. With a boyfriend that's not her boyfriend. Yep. He's a he's a male friend. He's a male friend. He's a nice little boy though. And they sent home some crawfish, so <laughs> even better. Right, even Makes better. Even nicer. Alright, so let me get Thank this you thing. Floyd. I got a walking Floyd. So uh, for those of you who know Floyd Floyd, um, I don't know if he came home yet, but he had an operation. I think he's home. He said he's very sore. Yeah, he, he, had, a, he had an operation Wednesday um, to uh, remove cancer. So um, I know he's been on my mind. I tried to call him the other night. He's probably freaking sleeping. And Wait, uh, is he? he did message me back, but um, I've been trying to let him rest. So here we go. We're almost done. We'll have these on. Two more sets. Can I go eat the crawfish? Hmm? Can I go eat Look, I'm kind of taking my time with this because these need to marinate. They're almost done. So I'm going to throw these on. We're going to make some uh, some dipping sauce. Where you at, Chuck? That you can't grill. It's perfect. Yeah, and that sun it might get hot. We went strawberry picking yesterday, so I can tell you when you're out in the field, <laughs> it's not perfect. It's hot. Yesterday, you know what I was doing? What? I was outside saving a missing child. Tyler was at Civil Air Patrol saving a missing child through a drill while Riley and Liam and I went strawberry picking. And I tell you what, there's nothing like picking your own strawberries, and they are perfect. They're, they're actually really good. I think Tyler's eating most of them. I've eaten a whole thing of them. <laughs> I don't even know who right. I'm I, right. I don't know that I'd win any awards for being uh, nice and neat here, but mm -hmm. it's all right. Uh, Phil said it's time for blooper. We no, we're gonna be blooper free today, Phil. <laughs> we have decided <laughs> blooper free. Well, somebody better knock on some wood real quick. Let's set it out loud. Oh my god, I love bloopers. Well, bloopers are all right. It's the uh, the other stuff. Right, this is our last one. It's the last one. So ideally, for me. Um, I usually let the asparagus kind of soak up the um, 
the oil and stuff for probably at least a half hour, 45 minutes before I even grill it. But we don't have time to do that today. Yep, picking fresh is always best. That goes with anything. The great thing about picking fresh strawberries is you don't have any moldy, mushy ones at the bottom of your, um, your pint. No, the best so, thing is they only cost $2 right. for a pound rather than $6 for a pound at Walmart. Right. That's the best thing. The best thing that is part's like, good, too. All right, so. They all taste good. That's the best part. Right. Here we go. Walmart, they don't taste all right. good. Start my own farm. Alright. Yep. So look, I had this like right around 350. And this is gonna take them bad boys a while. So what I did to this because the, uh, the bullseye, it didn't have a place for me to hang my beast tools, right? So I had to improvise. And since I have a bunch of these hooks, I just bent them. And um, there you go, it works perfect. So. Found the tongs? <laughs> yeah, they were in the sink. Okay. Ah, so it wasn't even lean. No, it wasn't even lean. <laughs> My grandson was here yesterday. He was messing around, dragging shit out like he always does. Or stuff, sorry. Um, and I was missing a set of tongs. And I was going nuts. I, well, I looked over the entire yard, behind the shed, everywhere in the trash. He was like, Liam, show me where the tongs are. Right, I'm like, Liam, show me where the tongs are. Tom <laughs> Liam's just going, tongs, tongs. <laughs> you know, he's just two. <laughs> You don't even know what I'm talking about. Where were they? Uh, they the were in the sink. Right. So, um... <laughs> yeah, Mark, we, uh, the kids ate, ate, uh, probably a pint. And then picked another pint. Had to make them stop. Is anybody having a Sunday morning drink? Yeah, Adam, isn't that, that grill does sound nice. Don't starve, pal. The food is on the way. No, um, I tell you what, that grill is freaking outrageous, man. I um, I fell in love with it. <laughs> Lloyd said he's trying. It is hard to watch. He's trying to imagine his cream of wheat as our sh shrimp scampi, but it ain't working. <laughs> oh, you can't have no shrimp scampi, man. Come on. But you can have the recipe for later. Right, you can have the recipe for later. Hey, Tyler, go give me the paper towels, please, honey. Yeah, Russell, the bullseye on, is a um, wood pellet grill. Come on, hustle. Move it. What are you gonna um? You wanna? Oh, you gonna do the um dipping sauce last? No, I'm gonna do dipping sauce right now because yeah. it's not gonna take long to do these. No, shrimp. right. And then, then Even though these bad boys, look at this. So these were special order. So Gavin Job, if y'all remember Gavin, he was on the show. The chop the octopus. The, the dude that uh one chopped, that helped it, that grilled up that octopus that day. He hooked me up with the shrimp, so um, because all you can get around here is uh, golf shrimp, and golf shrimp, you know, they're good. I don't want to buy hate on me that live around here, because golf shrimp to me are small, right? Even if you get a big golf shrimp, you take the head off and it's almost all gone. The tails are really small. Um, so when you grill golf shrimp, for me, um, it seems to... I don't know, they, they don't look great to me. Um, but when you when you grill one of these, it's money, money. <laughs> hey, Tyler, hey, I said about paper towels, sweetheart. Oh. Not Come on, honey, I really need you to hustle. <laughs> I wanna make sure I don't mix it. They're all good, it's paper towels. Okay. Swear to God, man. All right. Can't, you can't get any good help these days. Can't get no good help. Go behind me. Tower, come on, sweetheart. All right, so let's get some dipping sauce. 
Daniel, do you have the picture back? Anybody else lose the picture? Looks good on our end, so just making sure. Tyler, go pull it up on your computer. See if it's uh, see if there's a problem. Vince, we got these. Where did Gavin get these from? Do you know? Uh, if I were to ask him, he'd say my purveyor. <laughs> That's we got them from Gavin Joe from his restaurant. Um, yeah, you know, yeah, he has a restaurant, so you know, restaurants Maribo. get their stuff from yeah. different places Maribo than what we here do. Here in Covington, you know, he was nice enough to. to get so here stuff. we go. So. Um, Four tablespoons of butter, which is all. And this is unsalted butter, all right? Pat said beatings work. Tyler. Yeah, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Kathy wants to know if we ever ate Rule Reds shrimp. Uh, no. Somebody else sets up about where do they Where do they come from, and uh, where do you get them, and how big are they? That's like, it's sweet. like, so like, when shrimp are this size, to me, that's like the best size. When they get like ginormous, where they're right. freaking, where the tail is that big. Big tiger shrimp. Uh, I mean, tiger shrimp are all right because you can get tiger shrimp this size. Right. But so when you get tiger shrimp this size, um, uh, they're freaking awesome, man. They really are. Okay, so we need. Um, Lloyd's taking off. He said, "Call him later. He's going to get some sleep." All right, man. I'll call you later on today. All right. So. Um, we need four tablespoons of unsalted butter. That's what we got here. We need a quarter cup of uh, extra virgin olive oil, which this was a little bit more than a quarter cup, so I'm not gonna use it all. We get one and a half teaspoons of, where's my, one and a half teaspoons. So we go one and close to a half. Alright. Uh, the red rolls are deep water shrimp. They're like lobsters in taste. Oh really? How big are they? And where do you get them? So a quarter teaspoon of salt. A little heavy. Um, Tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Uh, Tyle is infiltrated from the inside. <laughs> oh, she's she's coming up now. Yeah. We need a little bit more. All right. Some uh, a tablespoon of s parsley, which I already cut up all this parsley. Bam. Pepper flakes, quarter tables, quarter teaspoon. That's just like a pinch. I didn't even know if it'd do anything. This is a dipping sauce. All right, I need to cut up, um, cut up some of these uh, shallots here. I mean, um, green onions. Again, if you want to um, share this video, so these I need to cut them up a little bit more than normal. Uh, let's see, Roll Reds are available around Gulf Shores to Destin. Oh, really? So oh. we should be able to get them. Yeah. Go to Florida. Right. So. Thank you, Kevin. Here's a tablespoon. Yeah, so pretty much all that I cut up. So it's a tablespoon of that, all right? Um, oh, you know what? I don't have a spoon out here. So Mark, Lewandowski says the reds are bigger than the shrimp we got here and some specialty seafood places they have a few in Florida and sell them. All 
They are um, a September cold water shrimp. Alright, so here's all our mixings for the um, for the dipping sauce. And really, that's all you're going to do is heat it all together and, and keep it right. warm. Technically, you're supposed to melt the butter in, uh, in the oil, get it hot before you mix in all the other stuff. But no big deal. All the blend. It all works. A deep. Huh? <laughs> I was wondering. A deep water shrimp. It said sep, sep, like September. I was like, what? Is that its season? <laughs> Alright. So. Check on those. Let's check on those uh, spatagus. Except for shrimp. Get some shrimp on and a of bread. Oh. Which that's just slicing and buttering, but you can get that Maybe. set up. I think maybe we should have doubled that recipe. Yeah. Where's the bread? Oh. Alright, so we're gonna do some uh, garlic bread. I'm gonna go ahead and get that ready to go. Today we're using a, a uh, garlic herb Italian for this. Rob Tuffy, yes, that is a Rectech. Awesome. For those of you who are uh, just coming on, yeah, we're cooking on the Rectech Bullseye today. Come on over here and look at it. So, cool mark, I just got this last week. I put it together. That's right. I opened it up on a, on a live feed. It did take me a minute. Like, usually I just kind of throw stuff together. But I did have to actually read the directions because it was a little funky getting these legs on. But once you read the directions, it was all nice and easy, right? Um, but You bought us boiling. Anyway, let's go in on this bullseye while we have a second. Very nice. Mark likes the new setup for our. Uh, this is really all we got to do. Walk around into the noise, and they can hear you all of the time. Um, this is really all you got to do for this. That's it. Really just, yep. So I'm just going to turn, turn that off and let it sit there and. Yep. <coughs> and everything's so hot, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't, uh, it ain't gonna pull. Yeah. All right, look. So we are doing, and if you're just coming on, um, we're doing. It's National Shrimp Scampi Day. Thanks, so, Russell. So we are doing shrimp scampi on the grill, and if you could share the feed, it'd be awesome. If you could like the feed, it'd be awesome. Share it in other groups. If you want the ingredients, type send in Messenger. Yep. If you want the ingredients, I mean type send. Um, um, there is a lot of ingredients, so I don't know if I can send them all in Messenger. Uh, so once you do that, um, it should ask you, and then we can send it to you by email. All right. I need. So anyway, we were going to make our own garlic butter, uh, but we decided just to use the garlic butter we had. <laughs> So right. that we could start on time. Right. We're running a little bit behind, but yeah. Go figure, right? Actually, no. I can jinx it. We're moving along. Get and uh, I love this garlic butter. It's freaking awesome. It comes from Rouse's. Ah, thanks, Kathy. Kathy sent us a, a link to buy uh, Royal Reds online. Oh, cool. Yeah. Thank you very much. So, Kathy is in our VIP group, which is free to join as long as you're a real barbecue person, a real grill person, not a spammer, not an asshole. 
So, um, if you're not in our Grill Beast VIP, I'm sure there's, uh, if you just, after the feed's over, type in Grill Beast VIP or Grill Beast and uh, the group should show up. It might even be on the right hand side or something. Um, hold on, I'm about to wrap this puppy up right here. And we'll be on to skewing some shrimps. Some scrimp, as we like to say See, down here. That's not, I say it being funny because. Uh, no, that's we, how a lot of people do a lot say of pe it. A lot of here. people down here, they, they say shrimps. Or scrimp. Or scrimp. Actually, Phil says scrimp earlier. He knows. Yeah. Phil okay. knows what's up. Oh, yeah, that's right. Phil <laughs> does know what's up. Phil does know what's up. All right, there you go. So, if you can get really good garlic butter, it's very, it's easy doing it that way, right? So, Am ready to flip yet? No? No, I'm not flipping. Uh, yeah. All right, I just need a place to put this bread. beast impalers it makes it nice and easy to do shrimp like this okay so that's the way we're gonna do it because we have plenty of it. <laughs> it's like there's no shortage of beast of impalers injectors or beast armor gloves or anything or any of this stuff around here I have it like everywhere so no matter where I turn I have what I need so all right so this stuff, the shrimp, you want it to marinate at least 30 minutes. And I assume this has been marinating probably. Yeah, we've been on for 37. So. Yeah, so this, we actually had this, so this has been in the marinade probably 40 minutes. 45, yeah. So 30 minutes to, um, 30 minutes to an hour, right? Um, and look, here's all the stuff that's in it. I, I spared you all the pain of watching me do it. <laughs> And, uh, but I will, I will tell you what's in it. So we got, I didn't count how many shrimp it was. All right. Um, there's a third cup of extra virgin olive oil, a quarter cup of uh, fresh squeezed lemon, uh, a quarter cup of uh, dry white wine, right there. Um, a tablespoon of finely chopped garlic, which we bought, we buy it finely chopped. Um, probably one shallot, uh, some, uh, a tablespoon, a tablespoon of finely chopped parsley. We did that fresh, some salt and some pepper. And that was it. So, um, like lemon I said, juice. you got the lemon juice. Yeah. Lemon juice. Okay. Yeah. I got it. I said it. Up. So rich, the website is, um, grillbeast.com. I could throw it up there for uh, for Rich. He wants to know website for accessories and gloves. Oh yeah, man. All right, so look, this is Thank the way you, I do. Starkey. This is the way I do it. See, like the beast impalers, they're flat, so they don't spin. So you just put through the the biggest meaty part. They don't spin. They don't tear your stuff up. Right. They don't tear your stuff up. So I don't know how many of these big boys we're gonna get on here, but we'll see. I got plenty of skewers, so. Five, that looks like a five skewer. Five shrimp skewer. Yeah, I can squeeze another one on there. So we need to get five to a, um, to a skewer, and so that would probably give us about three skewers, all right? So I can skewer these up real quick. 
So everything is going to be done pretty much at the same time, I think. Um, with the exception of the bread. I do the bread by itself. That way I can pay attention to it and not burn it. <laughs> Hopefully. Right. And if I do burn it, it won't be the first time. It won't be the last. What I do need is a little bowl for the dipping sauce. But I'll grab that in a second. Right. Where's Tyler when you need her? <laughs> when you don't want her under your feet, she's out here. I know, right? When you need her. It's, it's almost like she was getting in the way just so she didn't have to be out here. Right. <laughs> um, there you go. Almost. Y'all hear the birds? Yeah, that's the best thing around here. Shrimp. Looky here. Looky here. Shrimp. I don't know what we're going to do with that one. Let's give it to Tyler. No. That'll draw right. Okay. Wow, we're almost done. <laughs> yeah, we're done good. 41 I, minutes. I feel, we like we, I feel like we're missing something. Oh, but well, at the end, we're going to announce the. Ooh, the chop challenge. Yep. So, look. Even if you don't know anybody who wanted to see the live feed, um, which that's just crazy to me. Um, we do have the chop challenge. The it's deadline. The second chop challenge. Our, right, chop challenge two. Okay. Hey, Tyler, oh, Tyler's out here to find shrimp. No, it's not ready. It's not ready, it's not ready yet. I need to get go. a bowl for the dipping sauce. Yeah, go get a little bowl. Brown bowls. Hurry up. Yeah, the little. I'll tell yeah, you when they're done. Cool, it's all right. Now I'm not going to go over this yet, but you can. I mean, you can see it, right? But the deadline's going to be May 18th, which coincidentally <laughs> is Wendy's birthday. <laughs> so that'll be Wendy's birthday present. That's right. Lots of to, good recipes coming through. To to uh, get all these. Uh, videos together. That's her birthday present. Well, that's the deadline. I'm not going to get them all together on that Friday. What? Uh, Mark Berg said, hurry up with the uh, chop challenge. He's starving and he wants to go to breakfast. He's waiting for the ingredients. <laughs> Mark, you have 10 minutes to spare, man. Just 10 minutes. So, you know, technically you could use this. Um, all you'd have to do is heat it up and, uh, you know, get a bo boil it for a few minutes and then it's it's perfectly good to use to like pour over um, your shrimp. But we have, we have this other vert. Is that staying warm? We have this, yeah, I'm going to turn it on a little bit. Linda, you're one day from being a Taurus. You're an Aries, right? Linda is May 22nd. Oh, okay. So she's an Aries. I'm she's one day. Go, <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going. I thought that would stay hot, but it's not. About to eat me a piece of shrimp. When you have to fight Tyler for it. Gemini, that's right, Linda. Sorry, Aries is before. Aries, Taurus, and Gemini. So, I knew when I was saying it. Yeah. Um, so I know people have heard me, uh, Tyler, go get my me uh, the, the grill beast mop off no. the uh, table. Hurry up, run. No, Come on, hustle, 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 hustle. Earn your shrimp, girl. The, the, 
the table over there against the wall. It's got the red strings hanging out of it. Oh, yeah. Wait a minute. No, yeah, it's not done. Oh. See, that's why we got it. It's good to have a tester piece. Those are some big, they're big. Probably need like three minutes on each side. Well, I'm going to crank this up a little bit. Are you sure? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Karen, that, exactly. Karen, Karen said to baste the shrimp with it while you're grilling. Oh, yeah, good idea. With so, that baster right there. Uh-oh. Right. Wait, hold on. What's happening here? Just close it. All right. So, um... um Where'd it go? Oh, it's over there. All right. So, as everybody knows, our mops came with a cotton, um, cotton mop head, right? And, um, after we got them, and I used them a little bit. I was like, I really didn't like them at all, right? And um, trying to find a solution for that has been like a challenge. So I finally came up with this whole thing here that you take this little head apart and you can, um, it's, it's gonna be the silicone mop retro fit kit. And they are gonna be shipped to me from the factory next week. So I should have them, I think, by next Friday, I believe. Friday or the following Monday. And at that point, anybody who has a mop, um, we're gonna send them the little kit for free. Um, and then we're gonna include it for free for anybody else who gets a mop. But I can use this. Oh no, you're not basing, you're basing with that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, I'm basing with, oh, right. That's dip. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's base. Duh. But, yep, All right. perfect so, for yeah. today. Yeah, so see? Look how it holds the liquid in there, man. See, it's got these little, it's got these little, like, chain lock fence things, right? There you go. Um, this thing is great. Holds the liquid, holds your chunks. Yeah, holds so, um, so yeah, so even though the mops have the cotton heads on them, we're mailing out the silicone pieces to everybody so they can put that on there and I'll have a little video to show you all how to do it it's honestly it's, it's freaking uh it's simple so Stephen Maness wants to know if um if they already have the the other mop do they need to contact us or do or we just send them out well we are going to try to just send them out but if you don't get them then you're going to because we know who we know what everybody buys right the only thing that's hard to track down sometimes is if you bought it off of Amazon. So, um... Ha! Phil said there was his blooper. <laughs> that was my blooper. There you go. <laughs> Bloopers are all right. <laughs> See, Phil, you ask, you receive. So, um, we are very close. Who was that, Diane, that suggested I mop it with that? I believe so. Yeah, no, that was a great idea. And no, I, it wasn't Diane, but I've heard okay, that before. I, don't want to back down. I but, was um, thinking about that when um, can the shrimp go on? Yeah, the shrimp's about to go down. Let's see that. Yeah, that is a, mm, yeah, that looks better. You can probably go eat that other piece if you grab it before you die. Wow. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Yeah. All yeah, right. So they need about six minutes grabbing the big shrimp. Yeah, I didn't time it, but. <clears throat> But we're going to play with good. it. Actually, what I'm going to do, actually, I don't know why I'm putting that on. We need, uh, we need one Beast Armor Glove for this one. Not because they're hot now, it's because they're going to be hot. Yummy. Tyler said yummy, so we got to go. Look at these. Woo! 
Look at that. Hot. Hot. Shrimp on the bullseye. Shrimp on the bullseye. Look at that. Beast and powers. Hey, where's my other shrimp at? Tyler. Tyler. I gave it to her as a reward for putting up with us on Sunday mornings. The reward <laughs> is being my child. Oh, oh Lord. It's quite a reward. Chris Dunbar said he needs a napkin to wipe away. So, um. <laughs> what are you doing? We're gonna make sure I can sit over here. Oh, that's a good idea. I'm with you. Watch out. Alright, so I'll let you know in about three minutes. Flipping. So, has everybody seen my new setup since I got my new stuff? I think so. So, we got my Weber. The Weber has not left the premises. That's right. I like the Weber. The Weber is like amazing. Stark, yeah, he likes Old Bay too. But Old Bay? Yeah. Old Bay. Bay is but amazing. But this is Shrimp Scampy Day. Got my stove. Scampy Day. I got my stove. I got my flat top. Yes, next time we can do a little bit. I got two barrels. One, um, you can't go. You know, actually the only reason I even have two is because I do a lot of videos and I had to do two open the box videos, so and then I ended up with two. So um, I'm actually going to be giving one of these away. Um, um, Amy Jackson's asking what flavor pellets are you using in the rec tech? So... sent me it's a, it's a mix right so I'm trying to see what the mix is yes yeah, so it's a uh, red oak white oak and hickory say that again Dave it's a red oak white oak and hickory I tell you what man I did some fajitas on this bad boy is that on warm yeah, the plank steak even, uh, yeah, where's the lid of this? The flank steak even had a smoke ring. And I'm telling you what, it was good. It's been three and a half minutes yet? Not did my time it when I put that thing on there? I did. How long has it been? About a minute. Oh, that's it? Yeah, it seems like it seems longer than that, but for my, you know, you get about two minutes now. It's like sometimes when your uh, anxiety or your uh, excitement. your excitement is up, right. time goes very slow. Right. Like when you're going on vacation, it seems like forever to get there. Then when you're coming home, it's like you get back in a minute. Like when you're chasing a drug dude or something like that. <laughs> That's right. And then you used to go to fight them. And then, All right, well, that yeah. was, we're going to have to go through that incident the other night. There was an incident in the neighborhood but he was the other night. Yeah, move on. It was a cooking show, not a neighborhood incident show. Oh, but it was funny, too. <laughs> he did get tased. Oh, wait. I forgot it's supposed to be mop. That's right.
graduation, multiple trips to Ohio, vacation, they're moving. Too many things over the next few months. Chad, we're going to have another one in a few months. So by then, hopefully, we all settle down and we can take place take part in the um, third. Shrimp scampi on the bullseye from Rec Tech. That's right. No, I'm telling you, man, I freaking fell in love with that thing. I cannot, I cannot say enough good things about it. Just like how, it's just like when I talk about the Barrel House, how awesome that is. Now it's like I don't know. I'm, I'm very freaking uh, fortunate. I'm trying to stop saying freaking. Um, that I'm even ever able to have all this stuff. But I tell you what, um, if you just have like a couple of these things, it's all you ever need, you know? Some of this stuff, I don't need it. I just have it because I'm trying stuff out just so I can tell people if I like it or not. Um, Frickoos, are we gonna give them another minute because we thought they were done a minute ago and they're pretty thick. These shrimps, these shrimps. Rick says they're done. Yeah, they were looking pretty done, weren't they? They were, but said the so I'm I'd actually, that's what I'm going to do, I'm, I'm getting everything Clear prepared off. to get everything off now. So we can plate it up, our new specialty, plate up food. Right, well, Gomez, who used to give me a hard time about my plating, left the scene. So, uh, what, what time, how long have we been on? Um, we have been on for 57 minutes. So See, no matter what we do, it's an hour. Right, we'll go about five minutes over, ten minutes over, because we still got to do the bread, too. The bread only takes a minute. Is the uh, other drink in here? Yep. Who wants to see this grill smoke? So, uh, this is a good time. If you have not shared the feed already, to uh, please share the feed, and if you need to get a, uh, don't forget we need to read the chop challenge ingredients before the end. Right, and if you uh, haven't liked the feed, please like it. Um, is anybody else having a Sunday morning drink? I think Adam Duncan was having. I think he said Captain and Coke. I think that was Adam. Woo! Adam's now on the road. He's on the he's on the move. So. Uh, see, so I'm just gonna cut one of these. Need a minute. Just need a minute. <laughs> no count. Uh oh, where's Chaz today? Chaz is not here. I'm missing all the comments. Chaz and Jared Hogan. Where is Jared Hogan? Thank you, Karen. 
Stephen and Karen said they look delicious and amazing. Thank you. All right, much. so Germ Orndorff wants to know out of propane, what temperature and how long for chicken lollipops in a conventional oven? The chicken lollipops. I do every, every, all my chicken I do like 350. 350 right? Um, I, I honestly, I've never done a chicken lollipop. I know Pat's done them, and there's like lots of people in the group that's done them. I don't know, I've just never had a thing for chicken lollipops. Yeah, everybody's And I actually, up. I went through a time where um, I didn't even, I, I quit eating legs. I don't know why, I just quit liking them. But now I like them again. Tyler, what are you doing? <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> you quit liking legs. I did. When I was a kid, that's all I would eat is the leg. I've never that's liked that's the legs. That's all I eat now. And I then... But I'm a, I'm a thigh man. I love the thighs and I love the wings. But I'll do a leg every now and then. Legs are amazing. I love the rest of them. Dark All right. meat is amazing. I hate so, it. All right, so there's the shrimp. I need to... We uh, are waiting for... You can plate them up still. Can I plate them? No, let that plate them. So can what I, I was doing... I got the, the sauce heating up again. So what I was doing, I was tapping, I was testing to see how hot that, that's still hot. So... Talking to me? No, Tyler. She wants to I know play. I should have gloves on, but if y'all don't want to eat them after I, if y'all don't want to eat them after I touch them, that's fine with me. Oh my and god! And fingers. <laughs> Dude, that is outrageous. Just by itself, it tastes really, really good. Me too, Kathy. I only like the white meat. I will eat a thigh if it's cooked perfectly on the grill. Sometimes they're okay, but. Ugh. Like Those legs got that thing running through them. Like a, they have like a, like a muscle vein thing. Those legs? Yeah, I know you just eat them. No, muscle? I don't know what it's called. I just spit it out. But I also huh? make sure all the chicken. What's that thing that runs through that leg that I hate so much? It's a vein. Yeah, it's a vein. Right. A lot of people don't like the main. How's that bread coming? You don't want it too crisp because you want it to be dipping crisp. Right? Wanna leave those on? So Rob Tuffy says, Dave, he'd love, he'd love a review of the Rec Tech whenever you get a chance, thinking about his first color drug. David already loves it. You don't need a review. Dude, I, He's in love with it. Yeah, I, I love it. There's, like, no doubt about it. So here I am. I got the glove on this hand, and I'm touching it <laughs> with my bare hand. Okay. Sweetheart, stop. Tyler, back up. I can't have one right now. I don't want to eat it. That looks nice. You know, it look. Uh, you know, it would be a good garnish. Lemon. Mm. Go give me a lemon toe. Oh, Go grab a lemon. Hurry up. Post taste. Yeah, Jeff, the bullseye is awesome. Oh, she brought out a little bowl for the dipping sauce here that goes with it. Somebody say dipping sauce was burning? <laughs> <laughs> nope, um, nobody said it. Okay. Find a little spot on there for your sauce that you just put it on the side. Yeah, I don't put it. Well, I don't know yet. No. So. Um, Chad Keller wants to know how long does a rectangle take to get to temp to grill? Ah, uh, Mark Berg said you need new plates. Those are getting boring. We just got them. We just got them, man. We just got them for plating purposes. Like, this is the second time we're using them. Hilarious. There's another one inside. I have no idea what I'm doing here, guys. 
<laughs> that doesn't look pretty at all. All right, well, just, just, just put your sauce doing. on there, then. I am good just, at art. He's trying to be fancy. There you go. Just cut him in half. I'm so. good at art, bro. What do you do? Move that knife out the way, too. And then you got your, your dip, so really, you can put your dip right there. Why don't you put some scallions next time? Well, it's green. I was going to actually pour this stuff all over. That's what I was going to do. Dad, you need some green. All right. Well, what? That's what I'm going to do. So did you ask? Did you answer Chad as to how long it takes to um, to get to temp to grill? Oh, um, I'd say it, one. It depends on what you're going to grill. Because if you're going to grill something that needs to be over low temperature, really like 15, 20 minutes, maybe. I don't know. I mean, it takes probably about minimum five minutes, probably 15 to get it uh, where it's really good and acclimated. Does that answer the question? Amanda Shepard. She owns a smoker now. Awesome. What kind of smoker, Amanda? Oh, you brought that other thing? Yeah, I was just saying. Let's look at these shrimp. That needs some green, and I know it. Okay, it's alright. But there's no contrast. There will be when the uh, sauce gets on. That's it. I mean, like, there need, there's a space right at the corner that needs something green. We don't have anything to make this look good. That looks good to me. Huh? Looks good to me, just cook. Oh, that smells really good. Yeah. Oh my god. Y'all, these things smell incredible. Something to dip or you just drizzling? You drizzling? Or you dipping? We still put some in there for the bread. So, this is either going to do really good or it's going to mess it all up. Junk ones are better than none. Balsamic glaze, or? I would say probably I would use the glaze, yeah, not the vinegar. Okay. Mm. Now that's a So good this is just sauce. dipping for the bread. I'm going to take the stem off of that bad boy. Do this. Yeah. Go get the balsamic glaze and just drizzle it over that's the... That's what I was going to do. Uh, do you know what else balsamic glaze is? Actually. The fifth bundle of asparagus is over here waiting to be eaten. Tested. Balsamic glaze, right? Yes. The glass. There we go. That seems. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about them being in a nursing home, but hey, smokers, that one's been time tested. So that's what makes that good. There you go. That looks nice. That All looks right. Like that looks good. All right. You All want right. A bowl for the bread? 
Or no. A plate for the bread? Yeah, give me one of those square ones. Go get one of those square, square white ones. All right, everybody. John Salazar, you just got on here. We got on here for the best part. The food. And also, John, you get to, um, you got on here right in time to hear the ingredients for the next chop challenge. As soon as this gets plated up, that's next. Thank you. Marianne. There you go. There you go. That is it. We'll do go in on each little thing. How's those asparagus? <laughs> okay, that's enough. Yum. I was afraid they were gonna be too salty because I put salt when I really wasn't supposed to. Um, but it's actually not. So, so there it is. Oh my God, that is really, really good. Today is National Shrimp Scampi Day, so we got a grilled shrimp scampi, an incredible dipping sauce that you can also use for your bread, and prosciutto wrapped asparagus drizzled in balsamic glaze. And it is looking and smelling good. It's great. You're welcome, Linda. We're glad you're here. Um, all right, everybody hang on for one minute so we can let y'all know what the uh, ingredients are for the next chop town. Okay. So, again, if you have not shared the feed, please share it. Um, we're highlighting the new Rectech Bullseye. It's not new. It's new to me. Um, dude, it's really great. It's a nice, it's a nice grill. Um, so it's like it's the pellet smoker that operates like a grill. That's what's so good. And it, and and you can do you can smoke one or two. So it's very versatile, right? A real quick, Tyler, I gotta give her props. Karen Peralta said good job with that pop of green on the shrimp. That was Tyler. very good job, honey. Very good. Um, I'm pretty happy. Chad said he'll be a guest judge on the Chop Challenge. Cause I'm about to. Uh, oh yeah, Chad can do that. <laughs> I'm about to munch out on some shrimp. Well, wait. First, we got to read the ingredients for the next chop challenge. Then we wrap it up. Then you can eat some shrimp. Hold on. You already eat shrimp. You already eat asparagus. We got to take a couple right. of pictures. Deadline for entries on the very first round of the chop challenge. Um, what did we give away last time? The first round. They won their choice of one thing. Right? I think it was, yeah. Is that one? Yeah. And then the second one was, it, no, the first round was a uh, t shirt, hat, maybe apron. Yeah, okay. The second round was their choice of two things. Third round was the big props. Right, so what we're going to do, basically, it's going to be a choice of anything that we have that's like um, tongs, mop, shovel. Which is a spatula. Dude, let me, hey, let me see. Let me yeah. show you this stuff. This is like crazy quality stuff. So like the spatula, look up. This thing weighs a pound. You could hurt you can chop somebody's hand off the distance. It could also be substituted as a weapon. It could be. The tongs. Ain't nothing getting away from you. So you can win any one of those things. Basically anything here. You get a choice of if you, for the top, for the ones that go to the second round, get a choice of any one of these things. Of one of those things, right. So <clears throat> I think last time we had five people go to the second round, not three. Um, I don't remember. So I think it was this time we're going to have just three people go to the second round, okay? And those three people get to choose any one of these things, uh, or we actually have a couple new things coming out. I'm not revealing yet, but you can choose one of those also. Um, and that is going to be deadline May 18th. Now, the ingredients, salmon, kidney beans, fresh ginger, noodles of any kind. You could have oodles of noodles, 
A cup of noodles. noodles. If you want to. And an avocado. <laughs> That's actually... I don't know what the heck to do with the beans. But anyway. Come um, on, you culinary experts. Read it again one more time. Okay, read it again. Salmon, kidney beans, fresh ginger, noodles of any kind, and avocado. There you go. That's your ingredients. It's our second grilled beef chop challenge. Um, if you participated and did not win... Todd, um, you can do it again, okay? Todd won the last Chop Challenge. Uh, he rocked it out. Um, actually, everybody really did do a great job. It was very tough uh, coming up with the winners. So we had to figure out the distinctions between each person. The one thing we're gonna ask this time um, uh, is to not play any music. Because what happens, such a mode. what happens when you play music in your video that <laughs> you give to ideas. us, is um, like YouTube uh, and Facebook and all those um, companies, they block them and they, they don't let them get any reach because it's copyrighted music, okay? So anyway, uh, just please no music and please try to... We like the music. Like if you, yeah, we love the music. It, was just, it, it affects the way we can share it and we want to be able to share it with everybody. For a second, I thought it still had something to grow. Um, the other thing is, like, you don't have to do a great job on editing it. Just kind of push it all together so it's one video. We will go through and edit it, like, grab all the great parts. But if you can just mush it into one video, you know, yeah, what? like not not from beginning to end, just like the significant parts and kind of chop it. We would like it under ten minutes. Your entry should be under 10 minutes. Yeah, you're, it, it should actually be even less than that. Yeah, we. I think we said five but if minutes. You don't have, if you don't have any way to edit your video, just send it all to us in a zip file. And uh, what you do when you're ready to submit, we're going to tell you exactly how we want you to do that. What did we do last uh, time? We did it through um, through we, we Transfer. We Transfer. And that worked fine. That so, great. right. It's We Transfer. It's a file transferring service. It's free. It doesn't cost you anything. You just upload it. You send us the link and we download it. That's the easiest way. Did they send the email to you? Yes. So you send the email with your entry to Wendy at grillbeast.com. We'll send out, I'm going to send out an email to everybody who wants to. We're sending out the email. We're yeah. going to be, oh God, I'm not, I almost said we're going to be bombing everybody with emails, but we're not. That's not what we do. But we will send out a bunch of emails to let everybody know that this is underway. Get, get your butts in gear and let's get this thing on the road. Um, May 18th, so you have uh, three weeks, basically. Yeah. Right? Yep. What's today, the 28th? Yep. 29th. Yeah. Which one? 29th. Okay, 29th. So you have almost three weeks, a day short. Um, anyway, does anybody have any questions? All right, everybody get out there and enjoy your day. All right, Good thanks a lot. Peace out. We'll see you next Sunday.